Okay, good morning. Welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double. Today we're continuing Mesechus Bikurim, Perig Beis, Mishnayis, Yud, and Yud Aleph. I believe we're finishing Perig Beis. Um, continue talking about the Koi, the Buffalo, Buffalo Bills. They lost my Jets. I'll mention it again. Mishli Yud Keita, Shavel Behema. They're my Jets. They're my Jets. <laughs> my New Jersey Jets. I don't live in New Jersey, New York. The only football team in New York is the Buffalo Bills. Nonetheless, I like the Jets. Yud, Keita, it's a lot closer. It's easier to get to MetLife Stadium to get to Orchard Park, I think it's called. Buffalo, upstate, about four hour drive. Yud, Keita, if I was living with my parents on Long Island, but I'm not. Yud, Keita, Shavala Behema. <clears throat> How is a koi, a buffalo, similar to a behema? We said in the previous mission, it's similar to a chaya in certain aspects. Chelbo, also, Kechelev, Behema, just like a behema, that's basically an animal, it's Chelev, is also so to Misafik. Really? We'll talk about what suffix and even see on exactly a koi is, what type of suffix it is. <coughs> so the chaylev is also midah, right? So in chayv and lav karis, nonetheless, it's only a suffix, behemoth. So therefore, if you ate it, you're not chayv karis. If you eat chaylev, forbidden fats, if you eat a beshoge, you're chayv karis. Here, you're not. But you know, nilkach bekesef ma'isar lechol b'yushalayim, as opposed to a uh, behemoth, not as opposed to a behemoth, you can't, domestic animal, you can't buy with ma'isar shen in yushalayim. If you buy my shin you have to bring it as a carbon shlamim. You can't buy it, eat it for your personal bus or tie or some personal enjoyment. Koi also can't be bought with my shin to, to eat personally. But Chayab is real, the Chayab Makeba. Just like a behema, Chaya, a wild animal, a deer, you don't have to give these matonos to the kuna. The Zroa, um, the Zroa is one of the legs, or the Chayim, the, 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 the jawbone, the keba, the stomach of the animal. Um, these are manas kuna from behema, not from a Chaya. So you have to give it me suffix. Rabbi Yelazar Potash and what's Michal Raya, he says that when the halacha is like Yelazar, it's a suffix. The Kohen has to prove, he has to prove to you that it's a behema. It's a suffix, chaya, suffix, behema. He can't be motzi, that mamo, and so therefore you can separate it and eat it yourself. Yud Aleph, Kei said, you know, Shavu the chaya, v'lo behema. We mentioned that a koi is, in certain ways, it's not similar, not to a chaya, but not to a behema. Also, Mishum Kilayim, im a chaya, v'im behema. Right? You can't meet this koi, not with a chaya, not with a svi. Now with a deer, and now with a behema, now with a cow, it's kilayim. You're not allowed to have kilayim behema, to, uh, two different species. Hakosev chayoso behemto libno. Someone writes in his will, I'm giving my wild animals, and according to the Rav explanation, I'm giving my behemas to my son. Lo kosev lo zekoy. He writes both. I'm giving all my chayas and all my animals. He has to specifically write the koi because we're not sure what it is. Is it a chay or a behema? The Rambam has a different shot over here. The Rambam says that it's talking about what you wrote. Only a kosev chaya. If you're a kosev chaya, so then you can't collect from your father's estate the koi because it might be behema. If you wrote just behema, so you can't collect it because it might be a chaya. But if you wrote chaya and behema, so then it's included according to the Rambam. We'll talk about this famous machlokes in the Rambam and the Rab over here and related to the machlokes of suffix the rice on the chumra and how we view the suffix of a koi is very interesting. Imam or Harani Nazir shows a chaya or behema. He says it's a Nazir, whether there's a chaya or behema. Harani Nazir, he's a Nazir. Because at the end of the day, it's either one a chaya or a behema. Shar called Zorachav shavin lechaya behema. In the rest of its ways, it's similar to both a chaya and behema. But tone shchita gazeh gazeh. First of all, one of the things you have to shecht it right, just like a chaya behema. Matam mishum nevelim mishum eber min a chaya gazeh gazeh right. At least the basar, not the chayla. The basar of an animal which dies, a behema or a chaya which dies without shechting it, it's tam tumas nevelim. Or if you ripped off one of its limbs while it's still living, that has tuma tumas eber min a chaya applies. Both to a chai and both the hema, so the koi also would have the two most Abraham and a chai and two of us in the vela. Hope you enjoyed today's share. Stay tuned for Iyam and Siyam. We discuss a very fundamental machlokas about Savak the Raisa Lachumra, the nature of koi. What is the suffix over here? It is seemingly a suffix, chai of Abraham, suffix the Raisa Lachumra regarding Dinam da Raisa. What exactly uh, is the machlokas in the Rab and the Rama mentioned before? See you in Iyam and Siyam coming up next.